Newly approved teaching materials for Florida schools promise no woke culture and pro-American lessons. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Anken. Glad you're with us tonight. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. Matt and Lisa have the night off. Tonight, the head of the teachers union calls the material propaganda. It's called Prager U Kids. News 6's Treasure Roberts is live in the newsroom with Reaction Treasure. Yeah, each individual school district can decide if they want to use the videos as a supplement in their lessons. Some education leaders, though, say this material is misleading and problematic. Prager you kids is now in Florida schools. <laughs> Florida is the first state to approve Prager U's educational resources for use in classrooms. At PragerUKids.com, you'll find hundreds of free, educational, entertaining, pro-American videos for every grade. No woke culture or agendas, just wholesome, age-appropriate content. Conservative radio talk show host Dennis Prager is the co-founder of Prager U. Its website states the nonprofit offers a free alternative to the dominant left-wing ideology in culture, media, and education. One of the contributors is conservative political commentator Candace Owens. We're told that slavery is a white phenomenon. And like all persistent lies, this lie spawns a bunch of other lies. There are video lessons on how to embrace your masculinity and femininity. Number one, don't get caught up in stereotypes. In today's age, it's a big question what a woman should look like, or what a woman even is for that matter. And a promotional video. Hey dad, did you know America is racist? That doesn't mince words. Your child is being filled with lies. And I think this is to promote a political ideology and not to promote the education of our children. Florida Education Association President Andrew Spar calls this material propaganda. What we see right now is an aggressive move by the Department of Education led by the governor of the state of Florida to, uh, to ensure that what is taught in schools is only what they want taught in schools and not the complete and honest picture. The Department of Education tells News 6 PragerU Kids materials align to Florida's revised civics and government standards. In fact, I think teachers right now are concerned about the lack of materials uh, and the types of materials that are being approved. The approval of this supplemental material comes just one week after the Department of Education changed standards for African American history, even though minority communities, groups, and leaders pleaded with the board not to do so. In the newsroom, Treasure Roberts getting results, News 6.